guys, Jen here. I am doing another tutorial for you guys, and as requested, we're doing a body spray. So I have everything laid out here, and I'm gonna go over everything we're using and why, and also um, the recipe. So in my body spray recipe, I use uh, distilled water. I have picked up some this morning. I've got some distilled water. I have 91% alcohol. Now, you do not have to use alcohol. There are other mediums that you can use, but I find that the alcohol allows the body spray to stick to the skin longer. It smells really good. Uh, the alcohol smell evaporates within seconds after you spray it on your skin and you don't smell it. And I have never ever had a complaint from a customer from like an alcohol smell. Um, and it does make it last longer on the skin. So that's why I use alcohol um, with my water. Then we have uh, polysorbate 80. Now we went over in our last video um, doing room sprays why we use polysorbate 20 versus polysorbate 80. Now this recipe is not all water so we're not using polysorbate 20. Polysorbate 20 emulsifies your fragrance into water. Polysorbate 80 will emulsify our fragrance into the alcohol and the water. So that's why we're using polysorbate 80. I am using Germal Plus. Um, it's actually, it's got a new name now. Um, and, but we still have it with both names on our website. Uh, as the preservative, um, now, Germal uh, uh, is not safe to use in an aerosol can, but it can be in a spray bottle, like a spritzer, like we're using. Um, and then our fragrance. I have all of my fragrances over here on my little caddy. Um, I'm actually making 10 different scents of body, of body spray, but I'm only going to video and record one. I have printed out my all of my labels already so I can show you guys how I do my labels um, and what labels I use. So you can see some of them are upside down, but it's because how I printed them. There's these are the VHS tape labels. We, I ordered these from sheetlabels.com. They are the vinyl waterproof labels. I have learned over time, yes, these are very much more expensive uh, per label, but I have learned over time, you might as well just get the good labels instead of having to re uh, package or relabel things if they would get wet. Also, over time, the customer using it will wear the label if it's just a regular label and it won't look good. So, I've got these and also we have a laser printer. Highly recommend. You can get a good laser printer for like a hundred bucks. Um, I highly recommend getting a laser printer because you can buy the weatherproof, waterproof vinyl labels for an inkjet printer, but they're not guaranteed and they can still um, run. Ask us how we know. We have figured that out also. So I'm going to prep everything first before I start and that is as previously, I'm going to check and see how much I need to roughly cut off of my sprayer top to get it to fit down in. And I'll use the one I just cut off to help measure my next ones, just like so. And I cut them at an angle. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can. I cut it at an angle. That way when it goes down in the bottle, uh, there's no chance of it actually hitting and sealing itself on the bottom. <clears throat> so, now we've got our pops ready. Everything has been sprayed down with my 91% alcohol um, to be sanitized and ready to go. So. 
I'm going to do this recipe for five four ounce bottles. We have all of these items on the website for you to purchase except your distilled water. I'm assuming you can get that, you know, at home. <laughs> so we're gonna measure out everything for five four ounce bottles. <clears throat> I need nine ounces of water. Now I will quickly go over the percentages that I use. In just a second, let me get this a little over, not much, just a smidge. But I have done this recipe to be pretty precise. Okay, so we have 45% water, 10.5% poly 80, 40% alcohol, 5% fragrance, and a half a percent preservative. Now, alcohol. Um, no, I have poly 80 next on my list. It really doesn't matter, but I just want to go in order so I don't forget anything. So I need 2.1 ounces. Almost. 2.05. There we go. Okay. And then eight ounces of alcohol. I may have to open another one. Yeah. That one had 6.3. I hope I have enough alcohol on hand to make all the ones that I want to make. We'll see. I guess I'll just go until I run out, huh? This scale that I have is pretty precise. It says 8.01. <laughs> Okay, uh, we need one ounce of fragrance and 0.10 of our preservative. So I'm going to grab my preservative, get the little sealer off, and I'm going to go slowly. And I'm going to touch my scale, and just like that, I'm already there. All right, now, and I need one ounce of fragrance, so I'm going to start with Dracar. That's the one Eric requested. Now, you'll see when I put the fragrance in here to get really cloudy. And then... Goodness, I've made a mess with that fragrance. I should have had a flip-top cap on there. Make sure, touch my scale. Yeah. All right. Now, take this off. I keep paper towels on hand because I am messy. Now, I should have, there we go, a little metal whisk. You guys can use a spoon or a whisk or whatever. Now this should clear up for me. Sometimes you will have fragrances that will not clear up. So don't get stressed out if it does not. Sometimes it happens. If you don't like that uh, look or you know, you're afraid your customers may not like it, you can always do frosted bottles or we have the aluminum bottles like this. I just like to use a different bottle than I do for my room sprays, for my body spray. Now you can measure these to be precise or you can eyeball it. I'm going to measure it and see how well I did measuring. So I'm going to put four ounces and it's got some bubbles in here. Now, I sell mine by weight. 
and that's what I put on my label, the net weight and also the grams. I went over just a hair. Aha, did better on that one. Awfully quiet. All right, two more, then we'll put our sprayers on, and one of these is for Eric. He is out of body spray. Last one. When I get to my last one, I always think, oh gosh, there's not enough in here. That's what I always think. And that one was a little short. That's what I get for going over a little bit. I guess that one will be Eric's for sure. <laughs> Alright, so this one I will set aside for Eric and I'll go ahead and label them. So, if you be precise in weighing and when you bottle them, it will be perfect. I was off by like 0.1 for his. It's okay. This one right here was the culprit. I could work and, you know, get it out, get a pipette, but I'm not going to worry with that. I'm gonna get my labels. Now, um, these bottles, they have a little line that you can try to go by, but I just try my best to get it on there as straight as I can. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes I do not. But I'm not a machine hmm, at all. I'm coming, phone. I hear you. Got a text message. Alright guys, last one. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on a body spray and hope you uh, like it. So, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.